Let's play this Dolan sound bite and uh, well, let's react to it, JLs. Oh, you're gonna take it off. Run for it. Sell the team! Anything I can sell the team? You wanna not come to any more games? Why? Yeah, that's rude. Yeah, no, it's not an opinion. And, you know, I enjoy watching them on TV. Him, what? Bring him, yeah. Him, hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin. Say it one more time. Sell the team. Anything I can sell the team? You want to not come to any more games? Why? Yeah, that's rude. What's your opinion? Yeah, no, it's not an opinion. And, you know, I enjoy watching them on TV. Oof. Him. Him. What? Oof. He said, enjoy watching them on TV. Then the, the last henchman, JL, said, go get Kevin. And that's when the camera oh, cut. I want to know what happened dude. with Kevin, man. Kevin who, is the dude. Who's man. Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> You don't want Kevin. Who's Kevin? Kevin is here. Yeah. Yo, what is yo what to know, Kevin? Yeah, if Kevin is there. You don't want to be. Kev, Kev is a goon, man. Yes. I think Kevin. Kevin is in the basement lurking. This everybody is... knows a Kevin that's wild. Yeah. Right? This, this. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> knows a Kevin that's wild. Is right. <laughs> you definitely right on that, man. Um. All right, Jails. You you saw what happened. Dolan's walking away. Shout out my guy Barry too. Barry, the scoreboard guy, was just walking past, minding his own business. Um, but Dolan, Dolan is 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 walking. The fan tells him to sell the team. He he. They suspect that he banned the fan. They said that um, security came and got his his ID. Man, what do you think, man? What, what do you think, Jails? I mean, you can't. Like I, I, I just hate that it's drama. That's where I really, yeah. I hate that this is like a, a thing now. It's like one more thing because somebody talked bad about the Knicks about one more thing for like three agents possibly talk about. That's what I really don't like. But at the same man, at the same time, I feel like you can't don't don't be yelling, don't be all disrespectful like that, man. Like people do that to the. I understand. Everybody don't. Everybody, we all want Dolan to sell the team for our integrity and that. I understand that, but yeah, it's a fine line, man. Like, just hold it, hold it to yourself. Hold that to yourself. Hold that thought to yourself. You already know who this yeah. guy is. Like, I don't know. I don't even think he should have been banned for life. I think that might be a little harsh. You know, say like, get get out of here. Leave it be. Right. <laughs> Yo, I mean, th this is my thing, man. This is my thing. You can't, we are in a place right now. We are trying to repair our image yeah. of a dysfunctional franchise with a dysfunctional management team led by a dysfunctional owner. We are trying to shed that negative stereotype of this team. And not really a stereotype because like they say, Jails, most stereotypes are, have a little bit of truth to it, right? So those stereotypes about us is a bit true. So you have to be cognizant of that as an owner. You had the Oakley situation last year, right? Now you have this. Yeah. You're trying to clean out. You have the Porzingis thing that's lingering this year. All yeah. the KD Kyrie rumors, positive or negative. It's too much negativity, it's too much. man. And we're it's trying to get rid I'm of that. Fine. Yeah, yeah of, of that stigma. So while he is the owner, and he has every right. Listen, this is his team, is his building. I don't know if he has the right to ban the guy. I don't. We don't know what happened. They did collect his ID and, and took his picture, and I don't know what happened with Kevin. Kevin, you know, might have washed him up in the basement. Nah, he could ban. He could ban him. He could definitely ban him right. from the building. Right. Ban him That's what I would think. Private enterprise. He could probably ban him, but I'm not sure. It's just like, is that you want to go? That's your go-to. You want to go to every time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like. You can't you can't treat the customers. See, this is the problem because it, they're a cash cow and they're bleeding money, not bleeding in a bad way, but money coming out their ears. They don't care. They, clearly, you know what I mean because it's not going to hurt the bottom line. They're the most valuable franchise in the NBA, Jails. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Th- this is this is the problem. So when it comes to treating the fans well and customer service, that becomes secondary to his feelings. Y- you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't care about the fans, to be honest. Listen, if you're going to be man enough to, to say something like that to the owner of the team, listen, it comes with the territory, man. I, I, I think that's where I am with it. That's where I am with it. Comes it. Like, territory. Personally, when somebody attacks you, yeah, like you expect something back, I, I kind of live by that rule in general. So that's so that's why I'm not like super appalled by what Dolan's reaction. It's just like, I just hate that. I just hate the coverage, really. I think that's what it is. That's what it is. That's, that's what it is. That's that's what it is. Coverage, forget forget the fan. I don't I don't care about that, dude. You know what I mean? Th- that's the price you pay. You want yeah. it to be funny and 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 shoot a video and let it go viral. And it definitely went viral, man. Y'all yeah, check it out on Knicks Fan TV, man. They, they got almost damn near a million views from last night. But um, you know, it's just not what we need. We just don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it, man. That's and that's that's that. And that's also the price Dolan kind of pays for reacting, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still that double-edged sword, too, because the fan... You, you, I always say this. Like, if you yell something crazy to somebody in the street and somebody reacts to you crazy, yeah. you kind of almost had it coming. Mm-hmm. You, know? mm-hmm. you don't know. You don't know who what that person is, what what he did that day, how bad he's feeling. His, his mama could have, like, you know, cursed him out that morning and he was already in the bad mood. And then you caught him, now you caught him. Like you don't, you just don't know. You just don't know. But at the same time, you're a public figure, so sometimes when you react like that, you know, you can expect a huge reaction as well. Can't, you can't have that happen, man. He, you know, and and you know what the funny thing is, JLS, is that they try to be so protective from a PR standpoint. You see, Bondi got got banned. Yeah. You know, which again, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah. with with Bondi, but it's just the principle. And they, they try to be so guarded when it comes to their PR, but it's like the owner continues to throw that whole shit out the window, man. Yeah, man. Continues to, to, to just throw it all out the window, man. Yeah, like, I don't really blame Dolan for doing it, but I wish he would think more strategically. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's I think that's what I think. I think that's what I'm landing with right now. I, I, I think we're like, all right, this is what's happening right now. But I wish he was just kind of more aware of the brand of the Knicks and what how he needs to move to protect that brand and you know prepare it the image moving forward. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's aware of that totally. Vax, I mean, it, I mean, it's almost like does he does he even care? You know, is he is he selling the team? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, that's another question. That's another question. That's speculatory. Some people say he is, and he's just kind of keeping it on the hush because he can't really say anything about selling the team. Right. But I don't know. I don't know. It's true. How long has he had a team? Oh, man. Dolan's been in charge since... Yeah. Shout out to, yeah. Maybe nine, six, nine, seven. Yo, shout out to Jaden for joining us. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Jaden, Jaden Diaz. Salute Jaden Diaz. Yeah, that's just our takes, man. You just can't have that. When we're trying to rebuild our image, you got to be more cognizant of that. And especially an organization that is so guarded from a PR standpoint, they try to spin everything. And the owner just, <laughs> you take one foot forward, the owner kicks you 10 feet yeah, down a man. flight of steps. We need like a PR, we need like a, a PR person. But like, they have not Dolan needs like media training. They got one of the best. They got one of the best. You see it, their players are not even allowed on these shows. What about Dolan? And Dolan know? Dolan, uh, I remember when the Oakley thing, the Oakley thing went down. They had him on um he he's done Francesa before, he's done Michael K before. When the Oakley thing went down, he did it. And he came with like a written statement. You know, threw we, we, threw we, Oakley completely like, under the bus. Like we I don't know, man. I think I think somebody close to Dolan just needs to have that one on one with him. Just like, listen, man. Can't have it. I know you. I know you want to react this way. We trying to get KD, bro. Yeah, so <laughs> relax, man. <laughs> Gotta relax, man. Gotta, Gotta relax, relax man. man. Yeah. Do you think this is? Too, I don't think this. I don't. I don't think this has anything to do with free agency, though. To be honest with you, I don't think so. I don't think these guys really get that crazy with the owner. 
you know. If LeBron could go back to Dan Cleveland, to, to, to Dan Gilbert, anything's possible. Anything is po- I'm saying, yeah, of course anything's possible. I'm yeah. just, you just want to have that, that reputation. You already, you know, you already have a bad reputation. So anything, anything after that looks, looks suspect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. True. It's just like, you know, you can have, I don't know, like you, if you come, if it's like, if you, you coming from jail and then uh, somebody's, I don't know. Something comes up missing. Like mm-hmm. you already got three strikes on you. They they gonna be looking at you like you did it. Like so, even if it's not Can't completely your it. fault or your fault, you, you already have three strikes. You you don't want to give more people more doubt. It's true. Yeah, I move. Yeah, I move different. That, that's facts. Um, Will break it down for us, man. Will from LI wants to wants to talk about the fiasco. Will, how you feeling, bro? Yo, what up, CPJ? How y'all doing? How you doing, man? All right. I'm all right, man. Listen, man. I'm, I'm exactly with you. I, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I'm just sick of the bad publicity, right? Um, it blew up on Twitter. Um, a boy was sending it to me, right? I checked online a couple of hours ago. We got a New York Post writing an article about how, you know, Dolan is his pettiness can really threaten the fans. It's, it's, it's just. The, the media keeps going at it. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it, right? Because the, the Oakley thing wasn't cool. Um, then they start talking about how he was sleeping on game uh, game four when we were in the Pacers. Last time we were in the playoffs, he was sleeping mm-hmm. in game four and all this other stuff. It's like, listen, man, He, I think he, at this point, he's just, he's, he told everybody, listen, I'm going to just put it to the side. I won't meddle. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the most part, I think he's done that. I mean, I, I mean, yes. correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen him do anything. I haven't seen him, you know. If anything, he kind of helped us out when it came to the Phil Jackson thing, and yeah. Phil wanted to trade for yeah. Zingas, and he was like, "You know what, Phil, you got to go." Yeah. I, I mean, we traded him anyway, but I, you know, knowing knowing Phil, we would have gotten pennies of doubt for that, you know. Right. So, yeah. you know, for for the most part, he he he's a trust fund baby. Yes. You know, he doesn't really care about, you know, the team. You know, last time I went to the game, I had a couple from the Ukraine tell me how they wanted to come here just to see Madison Square That's Garden. It. That's like, it. no it's matter an attraction. what, like, this, this, it's always filled up. That's yeah. it. Like, MSC will always have, will always sell tickets. It's just like you said, it's worth, it's the number one, um, uh, it's the most well, valuable team in the, in the league. Yeah, they got four billion or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. So, he doesn't care. So ultimately, I feel like the fans just need to leave him alone and then he'll just, you know, stay out of it, cut the check, and, you know, and let, you know, uh, what, what, uh, what, JP, uh, what's it called? Call him Ninja P. And, you know, <laughs> what's it called? Just do their stuff. Just let him go. Okay. And they were talking about how he basically crossed us Steve Kerr and that Steve Kerr would have came, but nah, he nah. wasn't really feeling dull. And it's just like, nah. yeah, it's just too much, man. I just, Ultimately, leave Dolan alone. Let him get his little stuff going. I think he had like four chicks with him. I don't know if that was family or whatever. He was trying to have a fun night, whatever. Just let Dolan do him. We do us. And then, you know, that's all to it, man. But that, that's, it, man, that's man. all I wanted to say, man. I'm just sick of it still, man. Appreciate it. Um, Let's hear from um, Ari on this fiasco. Ari, what, what do you what do you think about this, man? Hey, what's up, guys? Um, what do I think about this? Yeah. So, um, you know, I think... I think James Dolan honestly gets a bad rep, at least now. I understand why, like, you know, 10 years ago with everything that's going on, going on then. But now since he stopped meddling, I think he gets a bad rep. And I think what people fail to understand is that, you know, James Dolan technically owns the team, but he it's a publicly traded company. Madison Square Garden right. Company owns the Knicks. Therefore, it's, it's them and the Raptors are the only two teams in the league that are publicly traded. Mm-hmm. Therefore, perception matters. So that's the reason why James Dolan historically has kept the PR so tight. Yes, has always like tried to like micromanage ha- what the perception of the Knicks were, mm-hmm. and it put a lot of pressure on the basketball side of things, right? Um, but that's not basically his. It's not really his fault. It's more about the position. Like I understand why he did that. Also, what I think um, people forget is that I know Carmelo loves James Dolan, and I know that Tyson Chandler loves James Dolan because he used to charter his plane to send Tyson Chandler 
to go visit his mom in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, he has good relationships with players. I think a lot of the problem is, you know, the Oakley thing was obviously a mess. Yeah, it was a black And that was terrible. And then, you know, people just make fun of, they just make fun of James Dolan yeah. for, like, the Knicks always suck. But right. I think that, like, if you look into it and see the position he's in, you know, it's a unique position to own a publicly traded company in New York City, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, he, as you know, he didn't buy the team, he inherited it. Mm -hmm. So he kind of, like, you know, who knows if he really wants this team, you know? True. So what do you guys think about that? No, I, I think you're right, man. I think you're right. Um, it definitely not a good look as a publicly traded company, um, as, as the, the representative of the shareholders right. is, is definitely not a good look, especially when they're trying to, they, their goal is to maximize every dollar. But how much this is really going to affect the stock when the building is selling out every game still? Yeah. You know? So. Right, right. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Like, you, all that happens with Charles yeah. Oakley, and people yeah. still packing it out. People that was still the worst PR stunt of the of the last twenty years. Yeah, I mean that what that and what the yeah, Isaiah I, but you know, stuff. yeah, the Isaiah Thomas stuff was where it all start, where it got really bad. But mm -hmm. you know, people also have to understand, like you don't, we don't, we as Knicks fans, because we James Dolan is our owner, we never worry about the luxury tax. He always pays people. He usually pays people too much. Yeah. Like, you know, he, he, he's, he's not frugal with his money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think I think the insiders in the NBA know about this, like, better than we do it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to scare away players the way, you know, other other fans are going to – that other yeah. fans think he is. I don't think that's Listen, the, the case. What, what I'll say about um, the guy is he will do anything to win. He just made the wrong decisions to get there. Point blank, yeah. blank period. If basketball right. didn't have a salary cap, we would be the Yankees. Put yeah. it that way. That's because exactly. this guy would pay anybody right. anything to come right. here and win. It's just within the confines of the game, the rules of the game, he has not managed it well. Or the people who he's put in charge haven't managed it well. You know, it's been 20 years. No, I, it, I was saying, but he's not managing the basketball anymore. It's Ninja P show now. It's not, it's it's not uh, Mills Dolan anymore. You don't, he lets P. them do whatever they want. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. To me, what may be the most impressive number for Mitch Robinson post all star break, this dude is shooting 80% from the free throw line. Wow. So, so he's making 70% of his field goals on the season, and he's shooting 80% from the free throw. I mean, you just don't see that type of efficiency. There's only been two players in NBA history.